everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be speedrunning 50 tips about Rec Room. If you're new, these tips will be incredibly useful, but even if you play the game a lot, I'm sure there's something in this list that you are not aware of. Today's video is sponsored by VR Wave. VR Wave makes a really cool product. If you wear glasses, you probably know how annoying it is to fumble around with your headset and get it comfortably situated on your face. Well, you don't have to suffer through that anymore. It's 2022 and they make these cool prescription lenses that fit right in any headset. Even if you don't wear glasses, eye strain and sleep disruption from blue light is still something you're likely experiencing if you spend a lot of time in VR. If you're like me and you're addicted to playing Rec Room for hours at a time, this can actually have a negative effect on your sleep schedule and your eyes. So VR Wave's non-prescription blue light filters will help protect your eyes, make you feel more comfortable, and in turn, you can feel less guilty about speedrunning Golden Trophy for the fifth time. When I put the lenses into my Valve Index, I noticed a difference right away. Since I store my headset in a laundry basket like a careless individual, I'm taking solace in the fact that it'll save my actual headset lenses from getting all scratched up. So check out the link to their website in the description below if you're interested. And without further ado, let's jump right into these 50 tips about about Rec Room. Number one, you can change your name from the generic one given to you when you join Rec Room. Just go into your watch, hit the setting where it says display name, that's where you can change it. Number two, you can save your gift boxes if you don't want to open them right away. Just pick the item that you want and don't open the box. Whenever you're ready to open them, they'll appear again when you spawn into your dorm or the rec center. Yay, lattes. Number three, you don't earn much, possibly any XP, when you're in a private instance or community room. So if you're trying to level up, visit public versions of Rec Room Originals for the max amount of XP. Number four, you can invite players who are offline. If you just go to their profile and hit the party up button, it will send them an invite. Number five, add maps to your favorites so that you can revisit them later. Just go to this room and in the bottom right, you can star it and even cheer the room, which helps out the map creators. Number six, if you go into your watch under settings and the experience tab, you can adjust your ignore bubble so that you don't disappear when people approach you. Number seven, if you go into your backpack, you can actually add your camera to favorites so that you can just reach behind you to grab it. Or just hold your hands out and make the clicking motion. This way, you don't miss any photo opportunities. Number eight, if you're struggling to get tokens or outfits, just go to dodgeball with one friend and take turns hitting each other. You'll have a good chance of accumulating a lot of boxes each day, even if you only do this for like half an hour. Number nine, photos don't automatically save. You have to choose the option to save them, which you can do publicly or save them privately, and then hit the save to RecNet button. Number 10, you can go on rec.net, the website, and access all of your photos, see your friends' photos, and search for rooms you'd like to explore. You can also accept friend requests, answer chat messages, and change your profile picture from there. Number 11, stand on the mat in quests in order to unlock the door to the next level. If you don't stand on the mat, you hold up the other players. Number 12, you can store extra weapons on your back in quests. Just drop it behind you, close to your back. This can take some practice to get used to. Number 13, you can save different outfits after you customize them. And if you buy Rec Room Plus, you can actually unlock twice as many outfit slots. To save a new outfit, just go into your watch, hit your profile picture, and you'll see a clothing symbol. And that will open up all your outfit slots, and you can just hit save to save over. Number 14, you can change your audio settings to hear only friends' voices if a public lobby is too loud or someone's being super toxic. And under the audio tab, you'll see a section called Voices I Can Hear. You can either choose all, friends, favorite friends, or only people in your party, even none. Number 15, you can choose don't pair me with junior accounts if you want to avoid that. Just go into your watch settings. Junior accounts cannot speak or use a maker pen or vote in rec room elections. Number 16, if you get motion sick in VR, use teleport mode. However, be prepared for some people to think you're cheating or hacking because you're on teleport mode. It's not cheating if the game allows it. Number 17, if you can't see the new weekly rotation board when it comes out and you're only seeing a blank cork board at the desk in the rec center, restart your whole game. Number 18, sometimes new items come out that aren't available right away in the clothing inventory in your dorm. For a day or two, you'll have to go to the desk in the rec center to view them. So if a new item comes out and you can't find it, that's probably why. Number 19, you can turn your comfort settings off to avoid that black circle that turns on in VR whenever you move too fast or fall. Also enable auto sprint to move quicker and turn off snap turning for a smoother experience. Number 20, you can spawn in doors in your dorm to link to your favorite rooms. I have mine set up to take me to Rec Royale. It's just cool and faster than going through your watch. You can find them in the invention store. Number 21, mute toxic players by pointing with your hand and clicking anywhere on them. It will bring up their profile and the mute and block buttons are easily accessible, as is the report button if they're violating the code of conduct. There will be some toxic people, but just mute or block them since they aren't worth your time. Number 22, you can glitch weapons into quests like the shotgun and jumbotron if you put it on your back right as the game starts. Number 23, you can holster two items on your hip in Rec Royale. However, unlike quests, you can not put items on your back since this is where your map goes. Also, look at your map often. And don't jump at Bucket Lake if you're new. 
Number 24. You can use this friend of trauma machine in the rec center to send one of your friends a free gift every day. Number 25. Favorite friends that you really like so that you don't lose them among all the other pages of friends that you have. If they're online, they'll always show up on the first page. Number 26. Featured rooms never disappoint. Rec Room posts them once a week on their YouTube channel. If you're bored and looking for something new, go check them out. If you can see the community board in your room, if you're a PC or a PSVR user, you can actually travel to them right from your dorm as well. Or just look under your watch under the featured hashtag. Number 27. You can get the weekly challenges done a lot faster if you get a group of friends. Dodgeball can be done quickly with one other friend. Just take turns not moving and hitting each other. Disc golf is a lot easier if you just go on mobile or screen mode. You can also get paintball hit streaks done with one friend. Just take turns shooting each other. Or if it's capture the flag, as long as you get one kill or death each round, it'll count if all you do is score. You can be AFK during Rec Rally or just watch the race. In Rec Royale, solos is easier than squads, but if you really don't want to get the five kills, just use grenades on yourself. Number 28. The fastest way to beat the boss in Golden Trophy is to have one person carry two shields and use them in a counterclockwise motion to distract the boss while the other person shoots him with a bow and arrow in the back. Number 29. You can cook grenades by dropping and re-grabbing them for more precise throws. This is especially useful in games like paintball. Number 30. Spinning a flintlock or a laser pistol pistol reloads the weapon, except in Rec Royale. The flintlock also gets more shots in Crescendo than it does in other games. Number 31. In 3D charades, you can actually tilt the maker pen towards you and select different colors and shapes to draw with. Number 32. The best way to beat the boss in Jumbotron is to have players divide and conquer the four screens. Stand on opposite ends and take out two screens each. It's best to hide behind the crates on one end or the plastic shield on the other. Number 33. You can beat the ghost beard boss in Isle even faster if you shoot and stun him three times in a row at the start. You still have to kill the rest of the skeleton pirates, but at least he won't be shooting at you too. Number 34. You can turn off names and voice lines in your watch settings. If you're filming, these are really useful. Number 35. Always remember to save the room when you make changes to your dorm or a room that you're building. Otherwise, you'll just lose all the work you did. Number 36. If you switch to seated mode in VR, you can use your right joystick to crouch and avoid some dangerous situations in certain games. Number 37. There are Maker Pen classes available in the Rec Room Discord if you want to learn anything from the basics of creating inventions to learning circuits. Go to recroom.com slash class to see them all. Number 38. If being a tryhard is more your thing than creativity, there are leagues for many Rec Room originals that you can sign up for through the Rec Room Discord. Number 39. You only get a certain amount of ink in a room you're making, so you have to use it wisely. Any inventions, dorm skins, etc. take up ink of varying degrees. If you can't spawn in any more items, you probably ran out of ink. Number 40. You can sell inventions for tokens with Rec Room Plus. If you don't have Rec Room Plus, you can list them in the store, but they have to be free. Number 41. Rec Room Plus also gives you a 10% discount on certain items in the store. You get a weekly 4-star box, 1,500 tokens, extra outfit slots, and items that are only available for Rec Room Plus members. Number 42. Don't miss out on the weekly skin. If you play the game often, you will end up regretting one if you miss it. The FOMO is real. Number 43. Always check that you're partied up with your friends, either by going through your watch and checking the party tab, or looking to see if your names and watches are the same color. It sucks getting left behind. Number 44. You can catch a dodgeball in the game. You just have to time it right. So don't just accept your fate if one's being thrown at you. Try to grab it. Number 45. Attacks from flying quest goblins and bots always aim for your head. If you keep moving sideways, they'll miss. Number 46. You run slower in paintball if you're shooting. Number 47. The best way to get good at aisle is to block the skeletons with your weapon. Hold your sword sideways and when, wait for them to lean back and then move in for the kill. Number 48. The shotgun is the best weapon for most enemies in Jumbotron. You can glitch one in by dropping it on your back right as the game starts, or find one in the second level in a room to the right. Number 49. Tubes use less ink than cubes when you're trying to create things with a maker pen. Also, if you hold the trigger more gently, it will draw finer tubes. Number 50. And finally, you can support a creator in-game by using their support code. Minus code Terra, which you can enter in your watch. You can also hit the support button in their profile. It only lasts 90 days, so don't forget to renew it. Well, those are my 50 tips, you guys. Feel free to leave me a comment with some tips of your own so that new and seasoned players can read them too. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.